Good afternoon. Uh, I'm Dan Sullivan, the uh, co-owner and winemaker here at Rose Hall Run in Prince Edward County. Um, uh, welcome uh, uh, to our place. It's a little atypically warm as we're known as one of uh, uh, Ontario's uh, coolest uh, wine regions and we're standing here in my north block uh, on the north facing slope of my 548 clone uh, uh, Dijon clone Chardonnay. Um, so as you can see um, <clears throat> the uh, the soils here in Prince Edward County are extremely rocky uh, and this is pretty typical of everything for sure in the west side of the county it gets a little bit more mixed in the east side but out here in Hillier the soil types are actually I won't say uniform but um, but they all have that underlying uh, calcare uh, limestone which is the parent material from which all great things in the county emanate so if you look down here uh, you can see that we've got lots of um, sort of rocky fragments uh, in the soil and uh, there's a lot of um, no, I won't call it debate but can you really taste minerality and I have to say that uh, with this here absolutely you can I think that that's one of the underlying hallmarks of, uh, of, of the wines, uh, uh, particularly Chardonnay here in Prince Edward County, is that um, it has a real freshness and tension to it. Uh, that uh, largely comes from the climate. And I think one of the big de defining features uh, here in Prince Edward County is uh, something that we're not all that far from right now, and that's the lake. And so what you have is you have a lot of um, very different gradations of heat units uh, in, in the county based on the distance uh, from the lake. And uh, um, oddly enough, um, the further north you go inland, the hotter it gets in the daytime. So we're sort of mama bear. We're not too hot. We're not too cold. We're just in between. And uh, we're about, uh, about a mile and uh, a half uh, from the lake uh, here and about a mile in that direction. So we're down in the southwest corner here. Uh, so as you can see, you know, we've got a lot of um, uh, old uh, seabed um, limestone. This dates from the uh, Ordovician area. area. Uh, era. So it's a little bit older <clears throat> than some of the limestones, for example, that you'll find in Burgundy, uh, which I, I, I think are a little more Bit, little bit more recent than uh, than this one is and uh, I have people <laughs> ask me how many truckloads of rocks we we, we dug in and uh, we're, we're we, we never we never place rocks in here they always seem to find their way to the surface um, but over time these wear and that's what's created the soil and the soil itself is actually not hugely uh, uh, doesn't have a great deal of depth uh, in this place where we're standing here because it's on a sloped area it's kind of settled into the uh, uh, into the um, uh, tree line here a little bit so there's been a little bit of sheet erosion over the years we're probably sitting on about uh, about three to three and a half feet of soil right here but in most of the vineyard it's it ranges anywhere from 16 inches to uh, uh, to about this depth or, or even maybe four feet but that's pretty much it so um, so this area of Prince Edward County was called Hungry Point and it comes by its name honestly. It's extremely dry. In fact, Prince Edward County is one of the drier areas in Ontario. And uh, if you take a look on a day like today, you can see that a lot of the clouds are moving north of us and south of us over the lake. And what's happening is there's a very large column of warm air that's coming up off the land here. And this section just west of us is the first land that wind will hit coming basically from Burlington Bay and Niagara all the way out here. So what happens is as it's picking up a head of steam with moisture, it um, uh, all that can, all, all that latent energy and, and moisture that's being held in the clouds doesn't really release itself until it gets further inland over the county. So although we're sur surrounded on uh, three sides uh, or even four sides in Prince Edward County by water, at least the western half of it is extremely dry. And, uh, and uh, the, the saving grace though, is that we have this clay uh, soil here and clay is a very, very small particle size. And what that means is it's able to hold the moisture uh, in <clears throat> a lot more easily than sand because it has about 10,000 10, times the surface area of what sand does. So what that allows for is it allows for, for the moisture, if the roots can get to it and the micro, uh, micro roots, uh, to, uh, it, it's a good reservoir of uh, water. The other thing is that the limestone that is underneath it is all fractured. So although it's a very heavy soil in and of itself, 
the underlying material is is cracked and so what that means is that the water drainage is is quite good and um, there's an old saying that grapes like to see water but they don't like to stand in it so in in this particular instance i i, I think that we've got um, a, a really nice uh, a nice uh, situation for especially growing chardonnay